In December of 1969, young lords took over the first Spanish United Methodist Church in East Harlem, which became known as the People's Church. For 11 days, young lords used the space to provide services to impoverished people, mostly black and Latino. They ran a breakfast program for children, provided basic health care, ran a daycare with Spanish language lessons, and taught Puerto Rican history. This is a clip from the documentary El Pueblo Se Levanta, uh, produced by the World Newsreel. This is Pablo Yoruba Guzman addressing the crowd at the People's Church. And it ain't just y'all in this church, you know, it ain't just East Harlem. Remember, we relate to an international struggle. So it may sound, may sound ridiculous, but this all links up to what's happening from Vietnam to Puerto Rico to Watts. Don't ever forget that. That without you here, see, our children have had it. What you do here today and what you do after you leave this church, no matter what happens, whether we get busted or whether we have to walk out, either way, it's still a victory. Whatever happens on after that, is going to be important for the fate of the world, because we're in the belly of the monster, and people all over are waiting for us to take care of business. Now, I don't like people to be too optimistic, because I'm kind of a pessimist, you know. But remember that no matter what happens, one way or the other, we have won. We have a victory here today. They can never take that away from us. Everybody here, go out, and you go out proud, no matter what happens, because this church is ours. This is a people's church. At all. At all. At all. At all. That was Pablo Yoruba Guzman, the first minister of information of the Young Lords in New York. And, of course, a few days after Pablo's speech there, 105 of us were arrested uh, by the New York City uh, Police Department. Uh, I'm wondering, bringing in Johanna Fernandez. Uh, Johanna, you've been doing a lot of uh, research and interviewing uh, on, on the Young Lords now for years. Uh, your sense of what the importance of the People's Church was to the Puerto Rican movement uh, in, uh, uh, in this country? Well, as was said previously, um, Puerto Ricans were a super exploited class in New York City, in many ways treated like people from Latin America who are migrating here are treated today, demeaned, demonized. And part of what the Young Lords did was that they amplified the dignity of an entire people. And at the church, they amplified the United States' quiet colonial project on the island. And they uh, explained to the people of New York and the world that the reason why so many Puerto Ricans migrated to New York, and they were migrating in larger numbers than African Americans at the time, was because of U.S. Uh, economic policy on the island, Operation Bootstrap. So in many ways, the church occupation gave Puerto Ricans a coming out party. And it changed the perception of Puerto Ricans, because here you had incredibly talented, articulate, dynamic, strategic radicals whose um, image was very different from the image that most New Yorkers had of Puerto Ricans, from what they read in the newspaper. Um, it also inspired a massive um, arts movement of Puerto Ricans, the Puerto Rican arts movement. Um, and. You know, the Young Lords are an understudied part um, of the period of the 60s. The 60s transformed the way um, white people think about black people. It transformed um, how we understand issues of um, sex and gender. And the Young Lords really brought to the fore the idea that there were other people who were oppressed in the United States beyond African Americans. And all people of color um, stand to benefit from those struggles of the young lords today.